Hello, everybody. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. We are here at Moonshine Inc. New campaign. Let's just jump right on into it. Never seen anyone play this. It just came out just a few minutes ago. So for me, this is all new. Our hometown just ain't big enough for you. It's never been. You finally decide to leave and make a name for yourself in the city. But it's not that easy, is it? Works hard to come by. The city's not a friendly place. Finally, you find a job in a mob-controlled pub. Not a dream come true, sure. But you meet people, you learn things. You remember your big dreams and start a business with like-minded friends. Still, your actions don't go unnoticed. All it takes is one tip from your ex-employers and it all goes down the drain. A police raid. The business is over. Fortunately, you are out of town. Unfortunately, you have to stay out permanently. You pack your bags and return back home to the mountains. But it's not all that bad. With the help of your great uncle and the best little sister in the world, that's me, you start a new business. Moonshining. Ready to chase some big dreams again. It's like Dukes and Hazards, but you know. Alright, chapter one. Let's go. Grunko Donald. I uh, here's your grandpups. My brother's old moonshine base. Okay. Nice. Still you still as you can see the whole thing is sort of state we should check to see what's up okay you can start by moving around yes i can zooming in yep see that rotate the z camera now that's that's done let's talk about moonshining first the basics all right we gotta go down here to this bring this up oh the store this is the map you tell you about it later but for now let's check out the store okay welcome back thank you you have any moonshine well there's not a lot to look at today but it will be let's buy ourselves some sugar okay 50 grams yeah have 50 holy crap can't hold it down either you have to clickety clack There we go. 50. Add 50 grams of sugar to the cart. Uh, yeah, we did. We did. Oh, I see. Oh, we could have... Okay, LT and A. So now we need some of this sugar. How much do we need? 50? Now let's do the LT and A. That adds 10. 51. <laughs> That's funny. It'll cost 303. That's fine. Will do. Return to the base. This is a pretty empty, to be fair, but there should be a fermenting tank in storage. My bird just went nuts. Okay, so I guess we gotta put that in someplace. Let's put it like under these trees or something. Alright, where's the road at? Just in case like the cops come, we can kind of hide it. Looks like they might be walking this way. So. I don't know. I don't know where to put this. The controls are a bit off. Let's just put it right over here. Like that here. My bird's still going nuts in the background. I apologize if you can hear it. I hope not. Your board is uh, very old after all. And thirsty, but. I digress. Visit the work quarters or HQ. It's one of the buildings. Okay. I'm guessing we're hiring peeps. Recruitment. Yeah. Uh, not a huge turnout in all rookies, but I reckon that makes sense. None of the folks in the area know you yet, but this guy seems like a good sort. A little wet behind, a little wet behind the ears, but you learn fast, huh? He's cheap, so that's fine by me. Let's send him the offer. 
Dang it, boss. For an offer like that, I'm going to be working harder than I in a pump. So, let's recruit a second worker. Okay. I guess... That, that person's expensive and a slow learner. Uh, no. I think I'd rather pick this person. Can I lower down? Let's recruit the second person, which I did. Send the offer. Dang it. Okay. Uh, I think that person said the same thing. So Andrew in Wiston is who we have. In. Great. This is where you'll be able to see your workers and recruit. Okay. Or fire them, that'd be fun. I should probably fire them already. Open the list of workers. There we go. Workers have traits. Okay, uh, when I was younger at all. It depends on who you ask. Each time your workers be doing the task, they're gonna experience, okay. They, they gain experiences and specials and heck out of them. Perfect, now that you've got yourself a crew, we can start shining. But first, let's make sure everything in place is in the base. So we got to do that. Go up here. Crafting. Um, you got to go over again. There we go. Your ABCs. Let's craft that. I think that's a lot of money. It usually takes a bit, but not too long. So don't worry about nothing. So let's create it. Let's go to the base and see where we can install this. Oh, okay. They want me to put it in one of the buildings, I'm guessing. Can I pick which one I want? There's a guy walking over there. Oh, that small little area. They're already over here. But my other thing is over here, so... I think I'm just going to place it in here. Uh, can we not? I don't know. Oh, I gotta push B. I'm an idiot. I know that. There we go. Of course we want to put it over here with by the other thing. We rotate. No, we can't. That's okay. Let's just put it there then. Ah, oh, everything's finally getting ready. Let's go up here. Create a new batch. Let's, uh, let's see. Everything up. Let's set everything up. Jeez, I cannot read today. I'm kind of in a hurry to get a lot of these episodes out. Yeah, you know, you'll see why on Saturday when I post the uh, weekly update of my channel. Uh, choose the alcohol kind of the only restriction you have to match is existing recipe. You know some of them, but others will need to be discovered. Okay. So we go here, we have to add some sugar. Oh, we have to use the mouse. Okay. Since that's done, we need something to formate stuff. We do have a formation tank, right? I think so, yeah. There we go. Simple yeast. Yeast is divided into categories. They allow you to craft recipes by altering the potency of your ingredients flavors. These in the first category called simple and okay. Yep, yep, yep. Stronger and stronger each time. The flavor chart changes when you add ingredients. Each ingredient has its own flavor and effects on the cart chart. You need to match the favor of the recipe to be able to make it. So let's add the ingredients of this. Nice, I think. When you have the recipe, the flavor chart, you can select it in order to lock it. Then you can make any modifications. And if you make any modifications, the recipe flavor targets will be retained. Okay. So match 72%. That seems good. Is that all we need to do? Should we just hit create? Load recipe. Ethanol. <laughs> Probably enough, it says. It's funny. If we have to add another recipe, uh, click on this. Uh, 
choose the rock gut recipe. Oh, it wasn't showing, so I was a little confused there. Get a 100% match. Oh, okay, I see. So, oh, no, I wanted to have this little thing. There we go, 100% match. There we go. Your ABCs, and now the final step is bottling. Ah, oh, your first batch. Your youngins grow up so fast. From what I can see, you've made the rock gut recipe. Start producing, and let's continue. My bird's really going nuts. Holy crap. All right. Set up the foundation. Yep. Can I change the recipe name? I have a perfect name for this. Uh, this is the formation window where you can plan the first steps of production. You have to set the temperature, quantity, mixing, timing, and everything. Formation is over there, diagrams to hold that the ingredients and equipment that you choose. The more complex the recipe, the more detail you see. And you, you can view the, whatever that is, <laughs> that, that you're used in the formation process and durability affects the efficiency of production. The lower the appetite's duration, the bigger the chance that you'll lose the product. Oh no. Cleanness is also cru cru uh, crucial if you want to avoid introducing unwanted flavors into the tank. A 100% flavor match will ensure you avoid any unpleasant surprises. You would choose a yeast that will be thrown into the tank. Here we can choose. Okay, remember that each yeast is different requirements and will yield different results. Let's try the balance option. Simple. Uh, now we have to fill the tank by adding mash and water. Be careful with the quantity of sugar you add because too much will overwhelm the yeast and kill it. Okay. Good to know. Um, ah, there we go. Fill the tank with the minimum of 190 liters and reach 1722. Oh, I see. So we need to bring the water up, and then this needs to go to 17 to 22. I see. Later on, you'll be able to unlock the tech that will allow you to modify the temperature. Okay, so we don't have that yet. Here we have the uh, fermentation timeline. You can choose when you want to stop the process. At some points, adding ad uh, additional flavor might appear, which are res res represented by color bubbles. Try to reduce the time to 20 hours to avoid any excess of additional flavors. Try to reach to 20 hours. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. It doesn't help me right now. Oh, oh, oh. I see something. Hold on. Now that brings it up here. That goes right down there, which is I think is what we want, but it's not letting me. Oh. Very confusing right now. more bitter than sour but see right down here is not letting me oh there we go geez 20 hours there we go so I push it down now that everything is all fine and dandy you can start the uh, formation process the worker will fill the tank and the process will begin sweet can we name it you can see the workers and that they're hard workers or bees okay whatever permission in is a long process. No, how about we speed up time? Okay. And so I'll show you the recipe book. I 
who's a recipe map this is where the, the unlockable recipes are gonna be there's four types of sprite moonshine brandy whiskey and vodka vodka and three complexities cheap fine and premium for now you don't know a ton of recipes but let's let me tell you how to discover more it's great each recipe has a radi radius which expands the uh, quantity of recipes blah, 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 blah. finding a new one's like earlier so let's move on over to the recipe book oh not moonshine it wants to go to moonshine this is the recipe you discover when you done did the last batch you can see all the different elements the main ingredients in the flavor chart nice uh, when you don't know everything about the recipe, you know what it looks like each. This is how it looks. Each hint reveals a little something. Okay. Close the window. Um, open the batch hub. Here we go. The second step of alcohol in making. Let's set this thing up. Uh, distill distillation is a subtraction step. Each jar contains a fraction of the final product, both in terms of flavor and ethanol value. Select the ones you want to keep and the ones you want to discard. It will let you find balance between expected flavors and ethanol content. Okay. This is so much in depth, it feels like. In the settings for the facility process, you can control the flames and rate in the jar. These affect the speed and production quantities. Okay. Apparently we want high. Now let's uh, specify which jars you want to get rid of or to keep in order to achieve the desired outcome. The recipe requires 20% ethanol in the in the end product. So let's have between 20 to 30% here to give ourselves a bit of leeway. Okay. Modify the jars. I wish I can. Trust me. Okay, so we need to find a way to navigate down there. Oh, oh I see it. Okay, so we can do this. Uh, deselect jars that you don't want to achieve. Okay. So, we want to deselect all of them. Uh, everything seems to be in order. Let's do this. Well, I want to get rid of the 2% and 0, but whatever. Close the window. Well, I want to change the name. Wow, the distillery is, is all a... All a... Distil what? I can tell you a little about notifications. They tell you everything that happens in the base. Okay. Now that the distillery is all done, we can bottle the product. Let's open the batch hub. Please tell me I can name it now. Set up bottling. This is the final point when you can modify things. Fortify, dilute the product. Ooh. And set the price. Once it's bottled, it's done. The same goes for fortifying the alcohol, but what you can do now is dilute it. That'll help you meet the ethanol requirements and it will increase the, the volume of the product. Be careful, too much water will decrease the quantity. Okay. Oh, okay. I guess it does it automatically when you get to that point, and it's very confusing. <laughs> I got negative 3% ethanol. Water added plus 6 liters. Uh, I don't think that's good. The quantity of the product is influenced by several uh, parameters. The flavor matches the ethanol content and all that. Pricing is obviously... Oh, ethanol is 20% up there. That's good. Uh, we want them Benjamins, but don't be too greedy. We need customers to actually buy a product. Oh, okay, I see. So, how much does it cost for me to make one? Estimate revenue, 1530 Batch production cost is 135 Should I just do the cheapest as possible? Time sells one to nine hours. Do this is two to ten. 
we just make it so we just make a thousand so let's pop it up like that 26 yeah I think 26 is it oh man it doesn't it wants you to sell at 39 that's dumb you can see the master points points you you will receive this recipe oh okay you don't have the nature sp sprite technology and the quantity matches the rest the quantity will decrease if you don't match the recipe okay and finally you can name your product it's your first brew so show your Google how creative you can be oh yeah okay let me think here um Let's name it. Call it. Let's call it. Hold on, hold on, no, no, no. Um. Oh man, hold on. I, I, I might have to answer. To figure out how to spell this. No, I'm stupid. If I can find my cursor, there it is. Man, I'm stupid. Okay, there it is. Man, I would not have guessed how to spell that in a million years. But we're calling it the Dukes. The Dukes of Hazard, because you can tell that this is kind of taken from the Dukes of Hazard. So why not? Let's bottle. It might be called the Duke, but that's okay. Looks, I don't know if that does that or not, but let's bottle it. Oh, no, did it not save? Because it still says batch number one, rut gut. Well, we'll have in moonshine is all fine and dandy, sure, but having money is even better. Your product can be delivered at thirsty clients, blah, blah, blah. Now, let's check out the delivery window. Okay. Start delivery, I guess, is uh, in here. Little window details of delivery. Remember, th that's how you build your reputation. Here, you can choose a driver. Right now, it's already selected by default. Andrew, uh, you might, but you might have a specific driver in the future. Okay. Now, let's take a look at the vehicle. We have a junky old car, but it looks kind of nice. You see that every car has its own stats because eventually we get more. For the cargo, let's choose. Okay. Um, the Dukes. Okay, it did save. Nice. So that someone wants the Dukes. Obviously. Set destination here. Go back to the delivery window and finalize the options. So getting into navigating is almost impossible in this game. Go back to the delivery window and finalize the operation. I'd love to. Okay, I guess we're going to the shack. I couldn't figure out how to lower it down. But hey, it's a straight shot. By the way, you can always take a look at a given hotspot to see how well your del uh, delivery del deliverings are going. I hate the fact that they can't speak. <laughs> I can't speak either, but... Come on, it's a game. Each hotspot has different client's performance, so try to meet them for optimal dealings. Meanwhile, at the alert level shows the risk of popos, raids, and on your stash. Each time you sell something, the risk increases, but the more client means more money. So it shows that the batch okay, is too high, so would drop but if the liquor isn't sold by uh, for some time the warren awareness gauge will increase this is a graph details of transition of customers and revenue okay uh, looks like it's selling i guess it's evening out now it's going down that's okay i might be out 
Oh, you can see the missions in the top left. You can pin or unpin. Okay, nice. The mission's up there. Oh, and there's a mission right here. A poor soul in desperate need of our help. Testiumanti. Let's take a look at the mission log. It'll help you keep track of all the missions you so bravely accepted. They're divided into many into main story missions and secondary missions which you can find on the map all all your post missions are found <coughs> in the archives okay <clears throat> this local pastor is having a difficult time it's not easy being the holiest person around maybe something to lift his spirits would help or some spirits to lift him a drink from a gave or corn syrup sure sounds so well. Nice, okay. I've already mentioned the different tech and skills that you get to unlock since you have some mastery points. Let's check out the the tree. Oh wow. The tree is divided into two tabs. Nice. A uh, fermentation and and distillation. Nice, okay. I guess they want us to unlock mashing, which is fine by me. I think the uh, appearance from our past batch is a little dry and might slight, it may be slightly damaged. We did push it pretty hard. That let's see. Yep, dirty and damaged, huh? Just like, well, never mind. Who? Let's. Just clean the suckers and then I'll be fine for the and it'll be fine for the next batch. A little a dirty ephorite is bad for the okay, I can't Okay again. How do I get up there? Clean? Okay, I see. Should we repair it first and then clean it? Uh let's clean it first and repair. That seems a bit more obvious to do, right? Old cauldron okay we should do that i made an achievement clean so let's repair okay nice uh and now that your worker has finished cleaning the other oh okay crafting is done when the operation is ready okay we have to uh place it somewhere in the base old cauldron let's put that like right here just all in, in that area, which is nice. Now I do, let's make a new batch. Create a new batch. Okay, well. We're going to... Oh man, we can't pause, huh? I don't want to stop this tutorial. But... We might have to. Create a new batch. Let's go over here and load the rest load the recipe. Do we have anything? Poor man tequila. Let's do that. Choose this recipe. I don't think we have add the arcade and syrup, corn syrup, yeast, and all the requirements. Um oh nice, we do have it. Let's do the agave and the corn syrup. And we need yeast. Oh yeast will come in later on. Put that there. We can do that as well. Into here. We need simple yeast. Add that. We have to take this until it's matched. There we go. And then we can do bottling. Nice. Let's create it. That's easy enough. Close the window. Now, one last word of advice. Be wary of the popos. Okay. If you reach the end of the police alert bar, your base will be raided. And that means game over. And that's it. I do love fishing. Oh, finishing. I love fishing, though. Um, just check the book of moonshine. And okay. And, oh, I got an achievement. Family tradition. Basically, there's more than this. This was the kinds of work. Well, back in my day, back in your day, people didn't brush their teeth. 
Nice. How dare you, young lady? Whatever. Okay, I'm kind of on the skills. Gumble, gumble, I suppose. I think that's it. Oh, thank goodness. Now, let's slow it down and stop it. Oh. Thank you all for watching. Caught on the episode, yes we is. Hope you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, you can subscribe, hit that like button, and that notification bell. Be good to yourself, and be good to others. Have the day that Z does of, and I'll see you all in the Z next Z episode. Peace.